we're going to start this fly with a dry fly, standard dry fly hook, size 10, and medium thread, about a 40 denier, brown thread. That's how we're going to start this fly. Now we're going to tie in a uh, pheasant tail and we're going to measure the tail for length and we're going to tie it in then we're going to fold it back out of our way. We're going to fold that back over later as a later step on the fly. So tie it in tail, wrap a couple thread wrap to secure it down, bend it back out of your way. Now we're going to dub this fly. We're going to use um, rabbit dubbing, dyed rabbit. That's going to be like a gray, like a lightish gray for this fly. Um, and we're going to make sure we have the guide hit guard hairs on it so that it's really buggy. It looks like some emerging. Now you want to dub it up to about where you would start a normal wing on a dry fly. So that's half of half, so one quarter of the distance of the shank of the hook. And that's where you're going to bend that deer hair, that feather tail down, keep trying, keep it on top, and then tie it down. Yep, we're back this week with that deer hair again. So we're going to tie that deer in, measure the length for the regular wing. We're going to have one wing. So keep a generous amount of deer hair, but not too much. And we're going to tie it in right where we have our thread. We're going to do a couple wrap, loose wraps, secure it down. And then we're going to pull the deer hair back, put a couple wraps on the hook in front of the deer hair and then we're going to put two deer hair or two thread wraps put secure it down two wraps on the hook by bending it back two more do that about twice that'll keep your deer hair from spinning now you can trim the butt ends of the deer hair off you want to leave about an eight to a quarter inch, that's about a quarter inch of it. Still there, you don't want to trim it off that too close. You to pull it all up, grab all them butt ends, not the tips, the tips are gonna keep being your wing. And you can cut that off. I'll show you what that looks like from above. Now we're going to add super glue to that thread, just about an inch of it, wrap it a couple times, or three or four times, pull it tight, and that'll keep all this from slipping out or unraveling later. Now for the hackle, we're going to use Grizzly. I'm going to trim off about an eighth of his nose um, hackle fibers. I'm going to tie that down in right between the where you have the thread right at this point, right in between the wing and that little ball you left. Um, and then you're going to tie this down. 
I'd wrap it about, I don't know, three or four times and tie it down. And then I like to pull the hackle forward and tie it down right in front of the wing. Or the deer head sticking up. And that was, I'd like to do that to secure the hackle a little better. And then tie it down. Make sure you tie it down before you pull forward. But tie it down good. And cut it off. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here I hope you like that video That's an amazing crippled merger um, If you want to see these flies in action go to click the first link below where it says fishing videos and you go check out all our flies in action um, make sure you check out the videos above me keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish so that we all have a good day see you next monday at four